Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at a little asset package in the Unity Asset Store called Survival Game Tools. Now, this is a relatively small package, it's nothing major, nothing huge, but I think it's actually quite detailed for what you get. I quite like this, and I can see how it will be relevant to many different people in different styles of games. So the quality in the pre-made scene, yes, it's a pre-made scene, love those pre-made scenes, instantly looks bizarre. I'll be honest, that's absolutely insane, but rest assured, it is quite nice, it is very nice. You just look at it, and don't forget, this is free. This is free, and only 67 megabytes, and you get this. This is really, really nice, it's quite detailed. It's, yeah, it's not perfect, but hey, what is perfect these days? So, you can see, this is the pre-made scene with the crazy skybox for some bizarre reason, it looks like an airport hangar. Um, so yeah, you can see here, there we go. Now obviously, um, post-processing is always something which could be used, but it's whether you want to or not. In this instance, we're just taking a look at the individual assets. So quantity-wise, you get what you see. Each individual prefab for everything within the package. Uh, probably need to increase size a little bit because, for example, if we click this first aid uh, box right here, if I can actually click it, you can see the scale there is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So I guess, you know, increase the size. It doesn't really matter too much. And if you're into, you know, modifying your assets, which I, I do recommend, if I'm honest, I do recommend, you can change them in kind of whatever way you, you need to. Make it green if you wanted to. Make it blue for whatever reason. You, you know, you could have different purposes for different color first aid kits. Your flashlight, <clears throat> of course, you can change the shader on it if you wanted to. Uh, let's change it to, I don't know, let's just go standard and let's play around with the normal map just because we can. Again, this is the versatility of an asset like this. It makes it easy to control, it makes it easy to play around with and easy to manipulate. So you can make it look gritty, you can make it look smooth. You could even make it look, I don't know, simple. You don't necessarily have to have an albedo on there. You could just remove it completely and make it look like that if you wanted to. It's all down to you and how you want to do it. So like I say, it's quality wise for what you get, it's good. I can see this being used literally in survival games. In fact, I may probably use some of this in my Resident Evil series. Um, it's obviously some kind of zombie game, maybe if you're trying to make a Days Gone clone or something like that. Die. Sorry, my voice went out. Dying light. You, you could easily use this, and it's not necessarily just going to be useful within, let's say, a survival game. It could be used within any type of game, really, because how many assets do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine assets. That's really, really good. Folder structure, really neatly laid out. I love how neatly this is laid out. It's very, very nice. I always love neat and tidy because it's easier to find things so you get your meshes you get your prefabs play around with the textures do what you want with it you could even be a little bit crazy and i don't know apply this texture to your first take it and make, just make it look daft or something i don't know so it is customizable to whatever degree you need it to be even a little prescription logo there rx it's really really good and for free who can knock it so you'll probably find something useful, at least in one of these, even the matches, if, if need be. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them, or maybe recommend them for some things. And I would recommend this for more than just survival games. You can probably find something useful in this for almost any type of game. Whether you're making a walking simulator, for example, take Firewatch. If you're trying to make a clone of Firewatch, there you go. There's a radio. If you're making a survival horror game, there you go, there's a med kit, there's water. If you're trying to make, I don't know, a game where you're building things, you know, you've got a garage, you've got tools, and you need to find some duct tape, well, there you go. Flashlight, there you go. Even if you're just making a simple little game, you might find something useful like these matches. So yes, I would recommend this for almost any type of game. And don't forget, you can apply post-processing, you can apply whatever you want, so you can customise these assets to make them look fitting for your game. So guys, have you used these assets in your game? Tell me what you think of them if you have in the comments below. Are they good? Are they bad? What's your thoughts? And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, whether it's free or paid, let me know. I'd like to take a look. And don't forget, click subscribe 
click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with everything on video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.